Hello and welcome to this video series on Cloud Consumption Interface powered by ARIA Automation and vSphere Plus subscription. My name is Mahar Al Asfar. I'm a Senior Technical Marketing Manager on Cloud Automation at VMware. Platform consumers, including personas such as administrators, developers, DevOps, and platform engineers are continuously turning to modern development practices, containerization, and Kubernetes with the goal of improving deployments, consistency, speed, and agility. To address this, we have announced the initial availability of Cloud Consumption Interface, powered by ARIA Automation, formerly known as Project Cascade and included now with the vSphere Plus subscription for our customers to address the needs of consumers in a multi-cloud world by providing simple self-service consumption of Kubernetes via a unified interface for both on-demand infrastructure and containers across VMware Cloud, available through an open command line interface, APIs, and a cloud-like UI. In this video series, we're going to go through all the necessary requirements needed to connect your VMware Cloud vCenters to vSphere Plus Cloud Service. This enhances the overall operational efficiency by centralizing management and governance of your vSphere infrastructure through the VMware Cloud Console, as well as allows our customers to activate services like the developer experience that we will be showcasing in this video series. This will activate VMware ARIA Automation free tier and set up all the necessary building blocks needed to configure, manage, and use the cloud consumption interface capability. Users can then utilize the kubectl commands to provision and manage Kubernetes-based supervisor IaaS services with object YAML definitions that exist today with vSphere with Tanzu and accessible via a single sign-on from a common cloud endpoint that allows developers to manipulate applications in many different regions with many supervisors as easily as managing and consuming a single supervisor today. This enables enterprises to develop applications with increased agility and modern techniques on vSphere while still maintaining control of their infrastructure. That's it for this video. See you in the next one, and thank you for watching.